Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to get back into our Erin Connor and Daily Duo. We are gonna do week 39. This is September 23rd through the 29th. And we are going to start like we do every single week. We are going to do our week at a glance and then we are gonna move on to the next video, which is our Daily Duo. All right, so we're gonna look at the kits real quick and then we are gonna move right into it. So all of these are available in seven by nine and A5 in my shop, in my Etsy store. It's always linked down below. I also try to always link the specific kit that I end up using during any plan with me. But if you guys are having a hard time, click on the link for my shop and then just type in what the kit number is, like type kit 327 and it will pull everything from my shop that is associated with kit 327. So here it is, kit 327. Guys, this was so much fun. I was going to save this for an October one, but honestly, um, I think I'm just ready to be able to like plan. I like I'm ready to jump right into it. I didn't have another fall kit that was all cut and everything. And I'm very willing to use this kit twice because I think it is so much fun. So our daily duo and guys, I just redid and added like a whole bunch of box options. So I'll end up doing a separate video probably to show you guys like what all I have that's coming up. And that'll start on, I believe, kit 329. And so you guys have a couple kits. Um, I think 328 is up. I need to put 329 up and it'll start having more options for boxes. All right, so for our daily duo kit, we have all the headers as the days of the week, the dates of the month, and then these are all bullet points and washi strips. It's cut in half right here. And that way you have like eight separate ones. We have all of our bottom boxes. Now these bottom boxes, this is another change that is coming. These bottom boxes are for the 2023-2024 planners. So the planners that are before this one, let me get to a blank page here. So this is the 2024-2025 and it has this huge box. And so far I have been using it exactly like that because I love this little extra space. So I end up making multiple options. You can still, so each kit is still going to have the smaller, the shorter boxes, the 2023, 2024 size boxes, which is this. And so you're gonna have that option. And then you're gonna have a second option to get the boxes that are the full size. So it'll go from where this washi strip is all the way down to here. It's the same width. So you do have that option. It's like a muted white in the middle, just like this, how I have the print showing through. Um, it, it's gonna be just like this, just a little bit bigger. Then other options that you have is I made boxes that fit right here and they have multiple backgrounds. So solid color, it can be like a white inside with dash lines, it can be a white inside without dash lines, it can be a muted color inside, and I will showcase all that when I end up doing it. But lots and lots of changes coming through. They are gonna be so exciting. So these are the 2023, 2024 boxes, and then the other ones will be listed as the 2024, 2025 boxes. So here's your seventh box. You have all your extras for scripts. I do have to say when you get this with the 2024, 2025 boxes where this box is bigger, um, I had to take away one line and one dash line here. So you will get two of the lines and two of the dash lines. But other than that, like the kit all stayed the same. All right, and then I also have my time labels. These right now are always with the dash in lines. I think that is so cute. It really makes whatever pop that you end up putting in there. But I do have the option, you know, after kit 329 for a whole bunch of different things if you're not in love with always having the dash lines. Okay, then the week at a glance, this is what we're going to be using in this actual plan with me. Um, this ends up doing our three page spread. It used to do a two page spread in our monthly planner, absolutely loved it. And then Erin Condren ended up giving us three pages in our daily duo and I was so excited. But then I had to figure out 
how do I use these three pages? And I have figured it out. This feels perfect and it actually made it. I don't even need that monthly planner anymore. So everything is in one planner, which is awesome. All right, let's get stuff ready. I do have my planner open because I do want to show you guys real quick like what the layout is before we start getting stuff ready. So on this first page, I always do like a, a brain dump or a to-do list or a priority list, whatever you wanna call it. This is like tasks that I'm needing to get done. Sometimes this is, it needs to get done within 24 hours. Sometimes it's within the week and sometimes it's in the next few months, but it's stuff that I just want out of my brain. I went down on paper so that I don't have like all of this fatigue in my brain trying to keep track of all of it. Once I get done with it, I just start marking it out. I have had a very productive week. I've gotten quite a few things marked off of this and it feels really, really good. So then when you end up flipping the page, on this side is also just a blank notebook page. And then on this side is where that week at a glance is. Let's, right here. So week at a glance, I end up just covering up with my own stickers. And then the other two pages are just this blank notebook page. And so it ends up coming all together. It looks like it was meant to be. Over here is my to buy list, my meal plan for the week, any meal prepping I need to do, um, grocery pickup, which I actually need to update this because I did do a Walmart grocery pickup. These are my workouts and I just need to start filling it in a little bit better, but I kind of love that it's like in your face, Jamie. And then over here, is all of our scheduled items, all my home tasks, and then this lets me know that the week is going along with the week that goes forward. You guys can see I use the heck out of my planner. Like this keeps me really focused and it's nice and easy. So I mark off like the tasks that I get done. And so when I'm looking down this, I'm like, oh, deliver popcorn. I didn't get that done. So I need to move that on to the next day. And so I did, it's right here, deliver popcorn. And see, I end up getting it done. So I love this. Currently also the changes that are happening with the boxes is right now they are all sized to go next to the time. So I know I like seeing what time it is. Sometimes once you cover up too many of the times, you're like, I don't know, is that 10 o'clock? Is that eight o'clock? Um, I will have the option to have the full size where it covers up the time too. And so lots and lots of add-on options that you guys can end up doing. So yeah, we have filled all this out. It's been a super busy week. I like have been just like a resource this week because next week I start working full time. That being said too, um, I think shipping time at this point in time is going to remain the same for my sticker shop. But if that ends up changing, I'll let you guys know. Here pretty soon too, the closer we get to holidays, I, I will probably start extending the shipping time. And then I'm gonna put a little flag up on my banner to let you guys know. I live in the Midwest and once weather starts hitting, sometimes, you know, mail can't run as normal. I always get the packages out, but it's the question, what happens with that package afterwards? And so there will be a little um, blurb letting you guys know, be mindful that weather happens, like when it starts snowing and ice and all that kind of stuff and to just be patient sometimes with the process of your package getting delivered. We all pray and hope that's never a thing, but you know, blizzards happen, ice happens, all that kind of stuff. All right, so the rest of the week ended up turning out really, really great, absolutely loving it. We are gonna get straight into the week 39. All right, so I generally like to start by filling in the date range here. Like I said, it's week 39, and it's September 23rd through the 29th. All right, so we got all those done. And then the first thing I like to put is what is my work schedule? So for this week, I work Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I provide you with five work stickers because that's pretty average for your, for your average person. Um, and then if you need more, like I actually sell these two as scripts. I have different sizes of them in different fonts. So I said Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And we're just gonna go ahead and put in the hours there. This one's only seven to 11, cause it is like our comps, so our educational day, and it's always a four hour block. 
And then Friday and Saturday are both 12 hour shifts. All right, then the next thing I like to put is like any standing things for each week. And payday is on Monday, so we can go ahead and we can put that. And I think this week we're gonna put it at the top. I usually put it in the bottom corner, but I'm gonna switch it up. And then this week is just a trash day. And that is always on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and put that in the top corner too. I'm trying to think if there's any other big things, but I don't think there is. All right, then we're gonna just start going down from Monday on. So I color code a lot of stuff and this is the color that I end up using for high school dance. This color is soccer. This color is studio dance. And this color is our appointments. And so um, I'm gonna be like reaching for these pretty often. These are the Ahuhu dual tip dot pins and I've been using them for years and I love them. In fact, I just finally bought a new set. Um, the last set probably lasted like two and a half years. I mean, they lasted a lot of use. And so, okay, on Monday we have high school dance and let's get out. Guys, you're gonna laugh at this. So. I needed a holder for all my stickers. Like I've had all these alphabetically just laying out and I was at actually a garage sale and I ended up finding this for I think $1.99. All right, so let's get this open. And I put them in here for alphabetical order. You could see that whatever kid used this, they kind of scratched a few areas, I don't care. So this is A, this is B, this is C, so forth and so on. We need our G stickers. And so GDT, and you can see how easy and nice. I'm just gonna pull one out because honestly, I'm gonna need that one quite often. It was funny because my kids were like, oh, you got that for me. And I mean, granted, none of their cards will fit in that. They're like different size cards than normal. And so I'm like, no, it's actually for my stickers. And they thought that it was kind of genius. And guys, Look, it's like the perfect height for my sticker sheets. Like I had to make no changes. Okay, so this Monday we have practiced from 6 to 7.30 for high school dance and it's at FA1. And then we have a whole bunch of appointments and it's also the book fair at my kids' school. So let's write that so I don't forget it. And then let's get into the appointments, which are purple. So it's a lot of appointments, but it's just like an ongoing appointment for my daughter. Um, so I think I'm just gonna like mark it once. So she has some cavities. She also has braces and we need to go back and forth, like taking off the top braces, go get the cavities filled in a different town and then come back and get the braces on. So that's where you're gonna see three different times. All right, it's all orthodontist, so let's get our orthodontist sticker here. And I think that's the only time I need it, so I'm just gonna leave it in here. Let's see if this fits. Maybe I should put orthodontist down first. I think it's gonna work out just fine. We'll just write over the top of the sticker there. And let's put the, it's for my oldest. All right, then on Tuesday, we have soccer and we have dance. And I don't know that I'm gonna keep putting the label for everything. Let's see, let's put dance down. And then on top, let's put soccer. Let's label stuff, it feels fun. All right, let's get, we need dance. And then our soccer ones are actually in this sticker book. And I'm needing to get more out, to be honest with you. This is all, I put them in alphabetical order. Um, I need to get more out. Let's see, we only have two of them left. This is my soccer script that I end up doing. So I just need to pull a new sheet. All right, soccer is there, and then we're gonna need another soccer one, honestly, for Thursday, so we're just gonna keep that one out. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab dance. There we go. 
All right, dance is 4.30 to 6.30 for my little kids. And then it's 6.15 to 9 for my oldest. And then soccer is 5 to 6.30, okay? So I think that's all on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we have morning dance again. And then also Thursday, we have morning dance. So let's just put both of those in real quick and we will get our abbreviation onto both of them. Tonight's our homecoming parade and my kids are really excited to go to it. My oldest is in it for dance. And then um, the other ones are just gonna come and watch and support her and have fun. All right, Wednesday is 6.20 to 7.20. All this might change. We just got an email this morning that our coach might be resigning. We have a co-coach, so hopefully she's just going to take over. But I don't know how much schedule is going to end up changing at this point. And let's see, that's in, at the football field. And then on Thursday, it is 6 to 7.30, and it is in the gym. These mornings are pretty cold, so the girls are enjoying when it's actually in the gym. All right, on Wednesday, we also have early out and then we have dance. So let's put our little dot. I'm saying two different dances. This is studio dance and this is high school dance. We'll put our little dot there. We'll get a dance script out. And we need an early release sticker. When I have a whole bunch of the same, like I have a lot of E's, I just kind of shoved them all in here. Um, it's front and back are the E's, and so I can, you know, flip it and see what's going on on both sides. Honestly, I just need one of these stickers, so we're going to put it back in there. I think I'm going to enjoy this. It's going to keep stuff a little bit more organized. All right. Let's put our early release down. There we go. And I think I'm gonna use one of these boxes. So I like to just put it there. And then I have a clear ruler. Oops, it's upside down. There we go, a clear ruler. And I just use it as a straight edge and I just tear it off. And it is like so easy to do. All right, so let's put in our times. Early release is at 1.30 and 2 o'clock. And meaning I work that day, my husband will be doing all those. I do get off work early enough, but I need to run a couple errands um, around the area that I work. So I don't know that I'll get back in time. I might, I might not. All right, then Wednesday dance is 4 to 5.30 and 5.30 to 8.30. All right, then we move on to Thursday. And we have a couple appointments going on here that kind of double stack. So we will put this, let's see, this first appointment is for orthodontist. And I thought that was the only time I was gonna need it, but I guess I'm wrong. I'm just gonna be running back and forth to the orthodontist this week, I guess. Oh, but this one's exciting. My son is getting his braces off. So his twin sister got him put on, he's getting his off, and then my oldest child, I don't know, she should be within a few months, I'd imagine, um, of getting hers off. We'll see. All right, so this one is for Beckett, and he has two parts of this. So at 8 o'clock, he's getting them removed, and then at 3.50, we have to go back and pick up his retainer. So eight o'clock remove and then 350 retainer. Okay, we're gonna run out of room on this day. I could see this already. I have a dentist appointment on this day. I was gonna use the sticker for it, but I think I'm just gonna write it to take up less room. So mom, dentist, and that's at 1020. And I don't, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't be able to make that appointment. I better be able to. All right, then we have dance and we also have soccer. And let's see, let's write backwards here. Soccer is five to 7.30. And I'm 
and see. Oh yeah, we could do like the little soccer script upward. There we go. And let's use our dance script. All right, and dance is 4.30 to 7.15 and 6.15 to 9. That is one busy day, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot something on that day. We have parent-teacher conferences, um, and I really want to go to it. So I think I'm just going to like use some for Friday and put it up there because Friday we just don't have stuff. So let's make lines and put, it's for my high school kid, BHS PT comp, and that is from 5 to 7 p.m., in person so they kind of alternate once in person and then the next time you could do like zoom which I don't like I'd rather be in person but I do really want to go to that like I, I'm wanting to meet teachers and talk to them and stuff all right then Friday I just work <laughs> just work and then Saturday I work and we have dance so let's get another dance sticker My desk is becoming a mess really fast. Um, dance is for solo and it's from 10 to 10.45. Okay, and then on Sunday, um, let's see. We have, oh, Saturday I need to write. This is my last shift in the NICU. Let's write it. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Last shift in NICU. I am switching over to urgent care and I'm so like I'm excited but I'm really sad and it's just all mixed emotions right now. Okay so the 29th is my official like I'm not NICU anymore. All right we have practice this morning. It's for GDT so let's get this. Like I said I'm not quite sure how much of the schedule is going to change with our coach resigning it's like personal reasons i'm hoping maybe something will change but she basically has like 48 hours to decide and i don't know if um enough things can change in her personal life to make it work so it's really unfortunate that she is having to pick and choose okay so that is done and then we have dance again all right, let's get out our dance script again. And this one's really exciting because it is production. So that's when our whole competition team is in one dance together. There's like 75 dancers, so it's really fun to end up doing. Um, it's the second one, so they'll be finishing up the whole entire dance on this one. And so all dancers need to be there from 4 to 7 p.m. and like the first one, the Sunday before this, they basically teach like each company their part of this dance. And then this one, they bring it all together and it's so fun to see. All right, that came together pretty nicely. Let me clean up my desk a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, let's get on to this week's right here. And this comes together so fast. I like starting with this page specifically. So let's open up. We are more than halfway done with this planner already, you guys. It has gone by so fast. All right, I like to grab the header first because that really fits easily. They have this gray line. Mine is the canvas inside, so that's why it's gray. If you have like any of the Edive designs, those are like very colorful. I almost got one of those, but I like my stickers to be able to pop. And then I don't have to worry about what like all the background colors are. So I end up putting that on first and then I just go as far over here as I can to cover up the days of the week. There's a little bit of space left over here. I had considered resizing this, but you guys, I don't know, I kind of like it how it is because here you can end up writing like specific things. Like maybe this is a laundry day and this one is a yard day and this one is a day of rest. And you know what I mean? You could put stuff. What I personally end up doing is I grab this home one because these are my home tasks that I need to get done. There's certain times, I just put it here, um, 
sideways, right? Like that. So there's certain times over here, like I know Thursday's super busy. I'm not gonna get anything done really around the house. And so I know if I need laundry done for anything important these days, that I need to move laundry up. Well, this is a really busy day too, so I might need to actually do laundry on Tuesday for this week. So seeing my schedule here helps prompt what is going to be happening over here. All right, I think we're gonna use our teal Ahuhu dual tip dot pin. This is really bright. Let's use purple, you guys. I haven't used purple. Let's do that. This one's actually Artist Loft. The, that is the Michaels brand. And I like them, I don't love them. Like I'm very neutral, I'll keep buying the Ahuhu dual tip dot pins instead. So what I do is I just mark the first box, like the first dot for each day of the week. And that way it's very obvious like, oh, these are Wednesday tasks, oh, these are Thursday tasks and so forth and so on. All right, that being said, cause I already looked at this and talked it through with you guys, I'm writing laundry on Tuesday cause I know that's gonna be the day that I can do it. Tuesdays, we do bathrooms. It's Toilet Tuesday. We have four bathrooms in our house, and so these are the days I restock all the bathrooms, I deep clean them, and then um, this is our trash day the next morning, so it also allows me to collect like all the trash from all the bathrooms, but we collect trash and recycling. It's not a recycling week, but I still like collect it all. I mean, we do all this stuff throughout the week, but this is also the day that I clean out our fridge um, because it's going straight out to trash in the morning. And so it's not sitting like any in any of our trash cans in the heat or anything. So clean out fridge. All right, that page is all done. I love this page. It comes together so fast. That purple like matches perfectly with this purple. That is so much fun. All right, then to end up spacing this page, I take this little box here at the bottom that I'm using for workouts. Guys, I've started working out again and I have been loving it. My only downfall, like I'm doing stuff that's supposed to be easier on my knees, but my downfall right now is that, um, let me see how I end up spacing all this out. I think I recall, but let's see. We're gonna use the teal ones over here. Um, my downfall right now is <laughs> my knee is like cracking. Like when I go up and down stairs, it literally, I'm hearing a crack every time I bend it. And so I'm pretty concerned about it, but I'm just going to like let it rest. I've been doing Grow With Joe on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have looked it up, but it's completely free and Girl does such good work. I love it. Um, the other thing I do, I am a Beachbody subscriber. I think I switch over to body, but I will always call it Beachbody. I do really like theirs too. I just have not, um, I just have not like done any of theirs because my knees, but my knees hurt because I need to lose weight. But I've done really good recently, like tracking my calories, being more active, really drinking water, which, oh my gosh, peeing so much at night. That is the one downfall, that's for sure. All right, so up here is my meals and I do three to five of those each week. So one, two, three, four, five. So I always make five dots for it. I skip a line and then I put our next strip down and this is meal prep. And I have scripts for both of these. I'll have to get out. And then this one is for our grocery pickup. And usually there are two different options for that. It's usually a Walmart one and a Sam's Club one. Some weeks I don't need both. Um, we are trying to do like a shelf timber. Usually I do no spend November and we just eat out our freezer and pantry and fridge. Um, but I'm trying to do a shelf timber because I feel like we have enough stuff in our house that we need to use through it. And we've done a pretty good job, but we we haven't even made a dent in it. So that being said, I have not had as many um, pickup orders. Sometimes too, this can be like a Target one, which there is a chance actually on this week. Let's see. There is a chance there's gonna be a Target one. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make a third one. My son has a gift card that he wants to use. And so I'm not going to be surprised if there's not a target run because of that. 
Okay, that is so cute. You guys, I love this. All right, we're gonna put in all the scripts when we get all done with laying down the basics. So over here is my to buy list. Then down here, I like to put one of this, the washi strips because it just helps box in this page. Like see, it kind of finalizes it. And then this one will go on the next page. I also down here, I always put the kit number. There we go. All right, and then before we put down scripts, I could put dots over here, but then I'm going to set up the next page too. And let me dot all these. Guys, I'm loving this purple. I'm so happy I did this purple. Okay. Last page here, and this is like my priority to-do list. Like what do I need to get done and need to get out of my brain? And I really liked how I put like priority and to-do here last week, so we're gonna do that again. We get these mummies and Frankensteins. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, priority to do. And on this page, if you can see through the background, there's like a natural line that I end up drawing. So I drew this line here to divide this page. And I just use that to make my second row. So like right here is where my second row will be. And my first row will obviously be on the left hand side of the page. I also like to put what week of the year it is. And basically to do that, I have a reusable sticker book here that I end up making and it's week 39. So I have, you can see here, um, any extra weeks I had, I put in here. And then I have a few that are like running working ones. And so I see I have a week 39 here and I'm gonna grab that. And then I'm going to write the date range right next to it. All right, that page is all done. We just need to get our scripts for everything else. All right, I've decided I want to put my workout icon. So I have the mini ones of these. And then I have this full size and you can see the size difference between these two. So the full size basically fit in an hour time block and then the mini ones fit in a half hour time block if you're kind of thinking of, you know, what size are these. So I'm gonna put it down here kind of decoratively. So let's grab it. I don't even need my tweezers yet. We're gonna put it there. And then we're gonna grab workouts. And just put it right next to there and then let's write Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday down Saturday Sunday all right then the other ones I need I need to buy meal plan and meal prep and I have all of those here in alphabetical order so meal plan I just need one and then meal prep is just on the back side these are live in my shop. And then I need to buy. There we go. All right, we'll put a to buy up here. The meal plan goes here. The meal prep goes right here. 
All right, let's take a peek at this. So here's our priority brain dump, our to-do for week 39, September 23rd through the 29th. We flip the page. I can have all my to-buy list. Some of the stuff, too, you will see come forward each week. Like, I know I need to buy certain things. It's just not quite yet that I need to buy it. So sometimes I kind of push it out a little bit. Oh, we didn't get the grocery pickup, you guys. See, this is why I flipped through it is to make sure it's all done. Let's get into our sticker book here and get to the G's. We have a grocery pickup. There we go. Perfect. All right, so our grocery pickup, our meal prep, our meal plan, our workouts. This is all our scheduled items, all my home task items. And meaning I'm working so much this week, like a lot of these will get filled in the day before. Like I'm pretty sure on this Monday, um, before I have to go get my child from um, school for like all her orthodontist stuff, I'm pretty sure I can get like floors done, collect laundry, you know, get certain stuff done in the morning. All right, this is kit 327. Go ahead and check out my shop. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.